what is up fragrance family this is your favorite reviewer <laughs> Jules Devin the fragrance critic fragrance today as you can see is Dior Om O and this is a fantastic fragrance I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat highly complimented uh, so see it's a fragrance that can be worn in just about all seasons um, let's take a look at what they're saying on base notes I'm sure you guys probably already checked this out this cologne has been reviewed by the big boys but at the same time I wanted to give you my take on it since I've had it for a little while now and got a chance to uh, experience it at the top notes you're getting it says uh, Calabrian bergamot Moroccan grapefruit coriander and at the heart it's coming in with Tuscan iris at the base is Virginia cedar and let's take a look here now for me I do get that iris smell and at first I really did not like this line the only cologne uh, the only fragrance out of this ohm line that I liked in the beginning uh, was the sport version and the other one that's uh, I, can't, I cannot call the name now it's like the fresh lemon crispy scent one I know you guys know exactly what I mean with the white sides uh, I can't think of what a name is right now, but at the same time, those are my favorite two, the only two that I would even closely consider. Uh, but now it's changed. Uh, I've smelled this one, uh, and I think I like Macy's, and I did like it. Uh, it, 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 it wore on me, uh, just like the original. The original, I used to hate the original, I thought it was feminine, it was just too powdery, just didn't like it at all. Now I love it. Uh, <laughs> And I'm going to grab me a bottle of it. Um, the perfume version, I really like as well. Beautiful longevity. Bang for the buck. Uh, you're on DHI. I still have not warmed up to that one. That's, I know you guys love it, but that's just not a fragrance that I like that much. Um, my particular bottle that I, that I have, I've had it for... I would say about three, four months now. About four months now. And I put a little dent in it. I bought it brand new. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, you can see the note breakdown. I read off base notes here. The Tusk Iris and the Virginia Cedar and so forth. Um, I get, as far as longevity, I get a good four to six hours. Sometimes I get a full eight, eight hour work day uh, longevity with this fragrance. So it, it, it depends sometimes. Um, I notice if I moisturize my skin, uh, maybe a little Vaseline, unscented lotion, this is going to give me a good, strong seven, maybe, maybe eight hours of longevity. Uh, as far as projection, I will say four hours on that. Um, definitely a little bit less on that, but this is a highly complimented fragrance. Um, actually, on base note, the feedback on base note, as you guys probably can already look up, 28 positive, 11 neutral, 4 negative. Uh, so there again, it's, it's affirmed that this is a very good fragrance. Um, I will say it's perfect for work. Um, uh, as far as the seasons, I like to wear this in the spring. I mean, I bought it in the winter time. I would say a little bit in the winter here and there. I mean, I work inside of an office, so it really doesn't matter for me. I can just put it on in the winter time. Uh, I think it'll stand up in the winter. I mean, I got, there's so many other fragrances that I have. I wouldn't really reach for it that much. Um, but in the spring, fall, perfect. A little bit in the summer, summer nights raining you know day things like that i'll definitely be reaching for this fragrance even in the summertime um it smells like the original but it's more of a watery aqua core it's it's different they have the same dna you'll pick that dna up but this is different and i believe the, i believe if you own this one this one i think it's worth it to have the original too uh, because I'm going to be picking up the original for my fall and winter seasons. That's for me. That's why I, that's how I like it. I have a little sample of it that I really enjoy, and I like it for the fall and season, fall and uh, winter seasons. Um, but as, and one thing I do love about these fragrances is the sprayer. Oh my God, this is like one of my favorite sprayers. And I know you guys have seen this demonstrated probably, but this is how it looks. And you can control how much. You know, it's just, oh my God, this sprayer is worth a million dollars. I actually got this off eBay. Uh, it's definitely a real bottle. It has the batch code at the bottom there uh, that matched the box. I actually paid about 45 bucks for this. 
you know, 3.4 ounce bottle, that was a steal. And right now I'm looking at the original. I'm seeing prices of like $55 at the lowest, $52 maybe. Uh, so I'll be picking that one up as well. So, guys, let me know uh, if I missed anything or if you got any questions. That's it.